We want to determine whether each equation is a function. So to do that, it's best to solve for y, and then when we have y that's solved, we can put in some values for x and see if we get more than one value of y. So for this, we're going to first solve by moving the x squared across the equal sign. So 3y squared is equal to 7 minus x squared, so track that over. Now I have to divide everything by 3. So I'm going to take this, divide that whole thing by 3. I get y squared equals 7 minus x squared over 3, but we're not done yet because we need to solve that for y. You do that by taking the square root of both sides. Now when you take the square root of a, when you have an even power, you're taking an even root of something, you need to remember to put plus or minus signs in front of that. I have 7 minus x squared over 3. Let's suppose that we pick a sample value uh, for x. Let's say we pick 0 for x and we decide to put that in here. Well, what happens is if I have a 0 in here for x, that means I get plus or minus the square root of 7 thirds. So that's saying that if I put an x value of 0 in there, I'm getting two different y values. So because of that, I know that it's not a function because a function for each input, you should only have one output. So this is not a function. Okay. So let's do the same thing for part b. Once again, we want to solve this one for y. So I'm going to subtract x squared to both sides. Subtract that over. So it becomes negative here. Now this time, I'm taking an odd root of something. When you take an odd root of something, you do not have the plus or minus on it. You're only going to get one answer. So y, if we take the fifth root of both sides, so what that looks like is going to be this. I have the fifth root of this side, and I have the fifth root of the other side. Again, I don't need to put plus or minus on this one. I get y equals the fifth root of 1 minus x squared. Now because there's no plus or minus here, if I put a zero in for that, I'm only going to get one answer. So that one input, I only got one output. So for this right here, this particular one, this is a function. So based on this, we can actually come to some general conclusions. When you're looking at these uh, from problems that are written in this form, if you see a y that's raised to an even power, that means that automatically it's not going to be a function because eventually you're going to have to take plus or minus. If you have an odd power on top of the y, then it is going to be a function because there's not going to be plus or minus. So notice we're only looking at y values because we're looking at y possibly as a function of x in this case. So that's why we're only focused on the powers, the exponents on the y.